Seven oh, Up. Oh yeah. It's it's product placement the gay. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you, dude. Back in in the nineties, it was all about the product placement. Like uh I Seven know. Up especially. Was was it just me or was Seven Up like the big um like we're going to try anything to get the mascot like down pat type thing well yeah and I, and the and cool spot was kind of a good idea cuz you know spot was a good idea it worked he had adventures he was cute he yeah, was man. actually in the logo ostensibly i mean They just figured out figured out a way to make the logo work for them, right? Yeah, exactly. Until that bastard Fido Dido came along <laughs> and ruined everything, yeah. ruined his career. Yeah. Singing that song with Eminem. <laughs> God, yeah, like. Oh, the, tape recorders. Like, Pepsi and Coke didn't really have mascots, right? Well, I mean, Coke had, had Max Headroom. Yeah, but, like, that's not really a mascot. That's kind of like... He he wanted you to kick, it, kick catch the wave, yo. It's a celebrity endorsement. Kind of. Kind of. I mean, but at the same time, like, it was... He was he was a character, right? Like Okay, okay but, like, this guy is the equivalent to, like, the Coke swoosh, right? It's true. It's true. Like this, it's, yeah. It, it's yeah. I mean, and and Pepsi did have like Pepsi Man and stuff like that as well. But Pepsi Man, I forgot about Pepsi Man. Yeah, there was a Pepsi Man game. We should totally play it. I think it was on the on the PlayStation. Oh man, a Pepsi Man game. Yeah, man. I I can't think of of any way to spend time. Any better way to spend time than playing a Pepsi Man game? <laughs> mm-hmm. Pepsi man, but yeah, yeah. There was there's yeah. cool spot and uh, what other <laughs> product placement games? There was there was uh, Yo Noid. Yeah, oh man, Yo Noid's another Nintendo classic. <laughs> it is, which is stupid. Oh, wait. Oh, was I supposed to shoot I think that? You're supposed to shoot it. Yeah, shoot the lock. Shoot? Off. Okay, I can just shoot normally. Except the bubble's gone. Oh uh, no! What do I do now? Wait a minute! That that, that can't be a, a non-respawning bubble. I'm just missing something. I'm sure of it. Oh, there we go. Is it just no? No? Okay. I think you may have to go the long way. Is that what I did last time? Oh, just, okay. there you go. See, I'm pretty decent at platformers. It's just when you bring shooting into the mix and it's not Mega Man that I have problems. <laughs> What's going on here? It's making a crunching sound. Yeah? I just keep firing, uh, right? Or are you out? No, I mean, I don't think I have limited ammo, but it's sure as hell not doing much to this lock. Hmm. Is there a key I need to find? Maybe... Oh, it's been so long since I played this game. Oh, I yeah, me too. I may have played this once, and then never again. Mm. Whoa! Well, I just increased my time limit, so that's probably for the best because cheat codes, the book. Yeah. Hold on. <sighs> that's right, everybody. Yeah, you I'm look looking, it up for me while I'm. I'm looking for a to... cool spot walkthrough. <laughs> Hey man, if there's a Super Nintendo game out there, there's a walkthrough on Game Facts for it. Let's give it a shot. Alright. I like how there was a, a video game that was obligated to give you seven lives, one uh, like power up. Yeah. Simply by merit of the product placement. Oh no. If 
Mufasa. I got the Sega Master System version. <laughs> the, Genesis the rules ought to be version. roughly the same, right? Yeah, right? Oh, I just had to find all the 7-ups. Oh, that's all. Oh. Oh, you passed and away. And I died. Yeah, but I'm fine. Of course. Because I'm a cool spot. Yeah, you got enough cage to open. Yeah, you got enough to open the cage. That's all you need to do. Just find enough product logos. Yep. To be sufficiently aware of the uh, brand that you're currently playing. <laughs> For what it's worth, you know, to young impressionable me. There you go. Yeah. I mean, like, this wasn't going to make me buy um, 7-Up more. No. I, I mean, I like 7-Up enough that that doesn't really bother. Uh, like, I was perfectly happy to just, like, get 7-Up every once in a while. Yeah. I'm, I was much more of a root beer kid myself, but... Yeah. I was a, I was a Coke kid. But... Yeah, 7-Up was, like, stuff my... I don't know. I don't know. It was caffeine free. <laughs> what? Root beer? Yeah, of course. No, like, no, uh. 7 Up. Like. Was it? Yeah. I didn't know that it still is. 7 Up was caffeine free. I bought some today. Uh huh. Alright, I. I'm totally unplanned, by the way. Unplanned. Completely. Yeah. I had. It's the first time I've bought 7 Up in. Or, like. Like soda in general, like yeah, I, I'm I don't, not, I don't, I'm not really a big, yeah, I don't really go in for soft drinks anymore. Uh, yeah, there's so many better things you could be spending your oh yeah calorie limits on. Absolutely. So I, I don't really do that, but um, oof. I, I went today, and, and my son, who is, who is seven, asked me, he's like, you know, he's he doesn't really know what it is, because we're not big soft drink drinkers. So yeah. he was like, what's the difference between 7-Up and Sprite? And I'm like, oh, man. Like, on one <laughs> hand, I think I've done well as a there parent. There were wars fought over this, son. <laughs> yeah, like, on one hand, I think I've done well as a parent to not have him get this far without knowing the difference but at the same time it was a friday and so i yeah. said all right let's let's hook you up with a seven up <laughs> mm -hmm. it's caffeine free yep that what, makes sense what's the worst that could happen so we got one and he couldn't finish it so i helped him out with it sorry i had it was uh it's very sweet yeah seven up oh yeah geez it's mostly sugar it's not terrible No, it's not terrible. But, yeah, clear lemon lime soda is not really my my bag. That's right. It's technically lemon lime. It is. 7-Up is lemon lime. And I was looking up today because he was asking me why it was called 7-Up. And... Mm, why is it called 7-Up? <sighs> it's a really stupid reason. It's because it was originally, like... Uh, it had lithium and another chemical in it to right. be, as a pick me up. Okay. And it was a bunch of like pick me up drugs without caffeine. <laughs> Antidepressants, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And uh, it was called like uh, I don't know, it was like lithium tonic or something like this. And then okay. Then the it seven just, is what? Yeah. Like and then it just became like seven up lithium or something? tonic, and then. They just shortened it to 7-Up. Nice. Is that the atomic number of lithium? I don't know. I don't know. You're asking the wrong guy. I'm asking a guy that has a smartphone in his hand, most likely. I do. Alright, I'll look it up.
That's right, boys and girls. We're sitting here unjokingly looking up the periodic table of elements while playing video games. The atomic number for lithium is three. Okay, so it has nothing to do with the seven. No. Alright. What is, uh, what is seven? Seven is a lucky number. It's the most people's... I, I mean, I know that, but... I was talking since we have the periodic table open. Oh, I didn't. I don't. I didn't have it open. Oh, okay. I just looked up. I just looked up. Uh, oh, lithium. the tetanus on this thing. Look at it. Oh, I know. Oh man. Something. Something just. Just naturally disturbing about being on a micro scale. Yeah. In a place like a fucking marina. 7-Up lithiated lemon soda before before oh, being nice. further shortened to just 7-Up. By 1936, nice. that's how it was known. What astounds me is a lot of these, like, these sodas were, like, invented in, like, the early 1900s, late 1800s. Oh, and yeah, And they're man. still around. I know, it's crazy. Like, we haven't invented a lot of new drinks. Yeah. In the last however many years. And the ones that we have invented have been, like, just terrible things, like fucking Red Bull. I know. Do you I mean, like, I say, ter I say terrible. I, I enjoy Red Bull. I cannot drink it because, um, like, my heart does terrible things when I do. But, like,. Do you remember OK Soda? OK Soda? I don't think I had that. Uh, I, I, yeah, I, was, I don't. You may not have been in the country. It was in. It was in the nineties. They had OK Soda. Okay. It was owned by Coke, and uh, it tasted. Which, you know, that's very, really no surprise. Kind of gross, honestly. Okay. Oh, for the love of fuck! Go oh on. man. It's cool. Anyway, Let's keep going. turns out it was just like Coke and and lemon light coke and sprite and orange mixed together hmm. and marketed the Bronco in Blaster. weird like art cans nice I gotta find you a picture to put it up. I'm gonna see if I can find it cause maybe I dreamed it and it's not actually a real thing it happened That's it was cool, I'm, I'm thinking like 95 I mean it's if, if, like, you know, as far as I'm concerned, as if Yoohoo was a thing, nothing else surprises me. OK Soda was a soft drink created by the Coca-Cola company in 1993 that aggressively courted the Generation X demographic. <laughs> aggressively courting the Generation X demographic. Yeah. That, that alone interests me. Yeah, it was like a fruit punch version of Coke's Fresca. Slightly spicy. Oh. Orange soda and flat Coke. <laughs> it, it, it is compared to what is known as suicide, swamp water, or graveyard. The resulting mixture of multiple soft drink flavors. It was called swamp water where I was from. There you go, man. Little history lesson in in sody pops. You're getting all into this. Do you have enough seven ups? Oh no! What's happening? Are you even there? What the heck is happening? I'm not I I'm, <laughs> I'm not getting your audio anymore.
All right, everybody. Thanks for coming. See you next time. Bye.